Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to uh, today's tutorial and today I have something special. I wanted to check whether we can be able to make a PS5 game uh, using the Unreal Engine 4.25. So here I have my Unreal Engine 4.25 is updated and we can use this one to make the modern games and this is what I wanted to check whether we can do it together. So uh, I hope this video not take long, but uh, I want to show you every step. So what you're going to do is that uh, I'll have to open my Unreal Engine 4.25. Um, and then you can just give it like, um, yeah, it doesn't take long. You can just um, take your cup of coffee. So I want to make game and then I say next and i want to make a game with a third person so i make it next and i would like this one is a let me just tell it a game tests ps5 so then i say create and it will have to create the folder so um if you're watching this video if not you have not subscribed please subscribe and if you think that this is something that i can help you can just like on the comments and good so everything is open now so what i want to go do is i just need to go back here to the epic games if you have not watched this one i showed you how to get started with a, uh, a little agent for your first time. I have some video that I made it, you can watch on them and where you get your resources. So I'll just come here and I can take one of my downloaded resources. So I can just, uh, so let me just open it again. Um, I can just come here, then I can come to, I can just take like this one, hard, 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 hard out. And then I say that I want to save this folder to my game test uh, PS5. So I just click there, then I say yes. And we just give it like for some, so I can also take uh, another character that I like to use. So I can decide to use one of those character. Like uh, I can say take this character here and I say my character there. And now, when they are all done, they will be saved on my project that I saved here. So I'll show you where those one will be saved. So we can just give it like, it doesn't take long. And yes. So um, as it's waiting, you can just grab the, your cup of coffee. And if you have not subscribed please subscribe to support me because the unreal agent is not supporting my work and also i am trying to show you guys how to make your game developing or uh easy so if you are new here uh i think you have to watch some video to learn so many things about the unreal agent so um this takes like a uh, two minutes if your computer is enough, fast enough and then all those folder when they are finished they appear here so let's see so i'm waiting for i mean i can also shake to my unreal agent if oh no I'll have to cancel this one because it's downloading and I not want to. So let me just try to do this one. Because if it has to download, we have to wait for we have to wait for the whole day. Um so let's see whether this one is going to take. So um and I'm sorry for the delay. So our environment is already here. If I double click like this one, uh, you can see I have this one. So what I do is that I come here on the map 
and I can take one of those maps. So let's first of all go back and I want to show you something. So I'm waiting for this one, the other one, the folder, the other folder to finish. And now it is already here. So I can check on it here. I can come check whether the character they are there. So Muri and my character is there. Um, so now what I have to do first is that uh, I will come here. So whatever I want, I have this character here. If I click play, you can see that I can use a W like if you play any other game. How you use, you click W to go on the front. You click A to go on the side. You click D to go to the uh, left side and you click S to come back. Those are the basic of learning and you click space to make your character jump. But uh, if you're making a new game, you don't need to use those. So if you need to ex um, to stop the game playing mode, you can click escape and it will come back like that. So if it doesn't, so you can just play it back and then you click again so that you have a character there. So what I want to do first is to check this character because and I'm going to replace this character with my character Mori. So what I'm going to do is that um, I'll come back here. Uh, let me do this first. I go to character Mori. And I click this character because I need to make some changes. And um, so let me just wait a bit. Sometime it uh, need some a bit of time to to open this character so let's just click and uh, let's just give it you don't need to force it so yeah it is loading now the character muri and if it for the first time it have to compile the shade so it will show you compiling so i can click here to cancel and then I click here to open the blueprint of this character because I need to make some changes so I will not uh, so what I do is that I came here on the skeleton and I have to change this one to humanoid and then I would wait until it's done and then I can click this character here and I can choose one of those character uh, like I can take uh, I want Muri Brack. So let me take Muri Brack. I click here and then I click uh, Muri Brack. And then I say apply to asset. And then it will just everything we have to compile. And when it is done, now uh, before it is done, I can click back and I cross everything. And then I come back. I come back to uh, my manicure. I go to character. Uh, no character. Then I go to mesh. Now this is not the light way. I have to check a bit. So the third person mesh. No. I want to, to do some so the third person yeah then I come to blueprint and here on the blueprint what I do is that I came and I duplicate this one here so I, I like this one manic uh, manicure and I can just light a man or the I just like this one bro print and then I I save that one. So now I have my blueprint. So what I do on my blueprint is I, I double click it to open it. And it will open this one here. So I can come here to view. And I click the character. So if I click the character, it will have to open for me this table here. So if I like if I click there, so I want to remove this one. I wanted to shake again. So if I go back, I come so it is already selected. So it open for me. So what I do here, I want to share this character and I replace this character with my uh, character Muri Black. 
so like you can see my character mood is here so i come here and i say i want to use animation blueprint and i want to use a uh, muri animation so everything will be that like so everything we have to change then i need to save this one here so uh i need to save this one there and now i can close this window and now when we check here on our blueprint we will see that we have uh, our character is already shaped um, so we can do the same for this one so I want to share this character so I'll come back to viewpoint and like you can see this table is here so I'll click that way I come here and I'll select the character uh, Moody Brack and I also choose the animation class for the Moody animation and I save this one so if I change like that one you notice something now my character here is Mori. So I'm finished to shade, so it is still compiling, so everything is not done. So uh, what we do is that um, now let me just this this is not going to take long. It's just going to finish in short time. So like before it is finished, I can just go back and I go to my environment here. I go to map. And I can take like a, a demo map for. So what I do is that I'll have to double click this one. Because it will still have to compile. What we are doing here is uh, from start. So it asked me. So I'll just say don't save. And now this everything here will be. Uh, also compiled. And when it is done, now I can show you what we are going to do. So uh, before it to finish, we can just go back and we try to look like here we have the effect which we can add. If you want the fire, we can put the fire effect on our scene. Like you can take this one there and we drag it there. For if you don't want to make it so comp. comp uh, I'll, I'll do an extra video where I can show you how to add effect on your whatever you are doing. So I'm waiting for this one to compile. It is not going to take long. And to move this one, you can use the hotkeys like A to move to the light, D to move to the left, uh, W to go inside or to zoom inside, S to, go, to zoom out, Q to go down and E to go up so you can have a tour to see how this uh, background look like you can have a sh to check on this background Let's see how it look like as it is compressed oh, before it is finished to be compiled and you can now become so like this is whatever my background i have and you can see how it will look good for the beginners so if you are professional you can try to add so many things inside to make it look more uh profession but for the time being we are going to use this one because we are making our first game and we want to try whether we can make uh our first game in less than uh, that minute uh, PS5 game the quality and everything so uh, this is just the intro and if you are a profi in uh, Unreal Engine and you think what I'm doing is not for you then uh, I'm sorry because um, whatever I'm doing right now is for beginners and people who want to learn how to start doing their games because uh, I know there are so many people who are like me who have been trying to look for the material. So I'm waiting for this one to finish before I do something. If, because if you give your computer so many commands, it will have to hang. And when I upload my video, I don't do any editing because I want to show you every step. So 
now uh, it is all almost done this is just going to take so you can just have a sip on your coffee as we are waiting for this one to finish and you can subscribe to my channel and before our character is done that so that we can make a tour on this good project that we are made for today if you look at the quality everything is good and as a beginner to have a game like this one is one of the best thing that you have uh, so guys um was try to fix so this is where you get your environment you can try to this you have your levels here if you come to a texture you can try to shake what on those folders for the are. sometimes you have to look they are all not the same there are so many things we shall sometime hide it and you can try to come and shake like you have the material if i want to shake to shake the material i can come and try to do some modification on my project here those are the material which are they, are they were used to make this building look like this one so if you look when it is finished to compile everything is changing and the color of this building is also looking a bit uh good uh so um it's almost done and now it's done so what we did is that we change our character so if i click play you see that my character is already there so if i click that video to go on the front my character can walk if i click as if i click space my character can jump so if you are good in playing games you can try to look can jump if i click also as uh, space and w i can make my character uh also jump so if i click a i can go to side and i want to make a tour to this building that we made and this is now the process of now making our first game so this one was just for the beginning so this is where we put our fire we can try to add so many animation and then we can go here like if i click there i want to go outside so my character is big now so i can try to make some move and to make some changes so okay so i wanted to show you something we can try to move to this building this is a complete level where you can add like so many things inside and you try to make your game look more better so our character has the basic uh programming so i can so that is how we do so you can click escape to move away from the game playing mode and now we made our first basic game let me call it for the ps5 or whatever so uh what i'm using a little agent so if i need now to save this game what i'll do i come here to the file i go to export the uh packages but i'll do i like to do something i'll come here to the package setting i go to the uh, asset management uh asset tools so i'll have to check so i can come here to all assets because i need to make some changes here and i'll check for something that i want to make so if you look at the map we have this that map so if you don't save that you say that you need to save the uh, a demo map for it will not be saved so i can come and change so we can check our character yeah she's there uh two prayer horizontals we can make it vertical if you want i'll leave it on that uh, favor top 
uh, grading you can check whether you want to change something here I will just leave my uh, game instance so I can try to check on what I want to change on this one and now I'll come here if I'm done with that one I'll come back and I say I want to export my game so for the, this tutorial you can export it like Android or whatever but for this tutorial I'll just set, I'll export it for the Windows so I just click to ask me I want to save I'll save it on my uh, I like to say my things on the desktop so I can come here have my first game and I can say save now this one will be showing here that it's going to save so we can just give it like uh two to three minutes and we check what is going to happen so that was so easy like starting to make your own game so i'm going to try to remove to improve this level as we are learning and we can try to make so many things out of this level here we see what we can add how well, we can add other character or the enemies and what we can do with this level to make it look more attractive so this one is also going to compile and you can just drink the cup of coffee so i'm go also going to drink something because my uh, my neck is dry my throat So um, for the saving, it is just going to compile everything, and when it is done, you can have your first made game, level one. So I can go back here to the Unreal Engine and try to show something before it is finished. So I can come here and I can click and light my Unreal Engine five for a PS game making you can try to so if you need you can just try to look in here and just try to lead what you need and little agent shine at ps5 show so uh there are so many because they're also expected to leave their unreal agent 5 and there are so many things so you, if you can just come here and check on this their website and see what they are doing so i'm waiting for this one to finish compiling and now we can see what we made for our first less than i think it's less than 30 minutes and now uh and if you have not subscribed to my channel please um don't forget to subscribe and to support me so you can like this one you can come here and click show external and now we have like this video so i'll not pray it because of copyright and whatever and heart machine those are the things that they have the demo where they are showing what they are planning to do and we using the the thing that i showed you we can this was the news and whatever you can just come here and check for uh all those tutorials i hope my compiling is uh, done so this one is going to take a bit of time so uh for the um repeating what i did so that you can if you have forgotten something you can just so i came here i took my environment to the map i took my environment and i i dragged it here so this is the environment that we are having here then uh i went to this the third person here i went to the blueprint and i changed my character which was here the basic character that the they have when you open the third part uh, the third person 
I change the scale actor when you click here and you come here to view and you click this character here you can change your character to the character that you want to you can also come and change the material but I'll, I'll leave my material like that way the other thing you need to do before you change this character this character will not fit to your other project if I want to show you something uh, if I come back to where this character is this is Mori I go to the character I go to the helos and then Mori and then I go to my character here I click my character and then I come to skeleton I need to change my character here to humanoid most of them they are half they like this one or you whatever if you click it will not be replaced to the hair that person uh, blueprint so you need to change it there so you don't need to do anything whatever you need just to do whenever you load your character Muri here where, where were we I want to show you this one I can come here to animation still no to the mesh and I want to show you something so I'll have to cancel everything here you don't know if you cross there everything will be lost so the best thing is to cancel it there so uh, what is going to happen I want to show you if you come here to this third person you go to the preprint you click this is the character that we change and then you come to uh, viewpoint and then you click your character and when you change your character like you have to let's say use preprint you can use animation asset but i like to use preprint and here you have to change to choose uh the moly animation because this color that come with them already made animations so when you save that one you just need to come here and say you save everything i took tell me but i don't want to replace anything so i just leave it like this one the way it was i don't want to make any change and those are the basic for you to uh, start making your own unique game so i'm waiting for everything to uh, stop comparing and i'm very sure it is done in less than two minutes so if you have a question please you can comment on my uh youtube channel you can subscribe if you think that i did something good uh if you have a complaint you can just tell me what i need to improve on and like i said for me when i i do my video i don't uh edit them to cut them because uh when you cut your video sometimes you lose some information so i try to keep everything as recorded and to take some time but what we want to see how long it can take so i had some complaint like some people they are saying like when they are pro they are they upgrading their program they are slow and i would ask you like if you need to use this program you need a good computer and you can just invest like if you have money you can decide to buy a good uh, computer because the program is free and if you don't have enough money you can try to go to the epic market and when you go to the market here if you don't know how to download this program I, I have a video on my youtube channel we can check how to download and install this program and then you come here to the free if you come here to the free you will get so many resources here that you can use on your project and like we have also if i come here to the market i go home i want to see every month they give some free resource for this month they have not already updated so i think maybe on monday they will have to show it you can see here free for the month resources so this the one that they are here they are from last month let's see what they are going to give us for this month 
uh, and then you can save this on your library and now you can use those uh, project on uh, those characters on your project and yeah there are so many things that you can do with Unreal Engine I'm, t I'm waiting for this it's, it takes some time but I'm sorry we sometimes patient if it is everything And um, I'm, I'm saying thank you for those people who have been supporting me, who have been subscribing to my channel. Those people who have been commenting and tell me we are to make improvement. I appreciate your advice. And yeah. For a project to complete and now it's done. And now I want to show you, I save my project here on my first game. And if I open this one, it will ask me, it, uh, I can come here to the window, then I have this project that I saved. So if I double click and I say yes. And now I have now my first game. And if you look at the quality, everything look good. So now we can go using our keys hot keys we have this one the that video we can move to this one but remember what we did here uh oh so now how do we come back here oh yeah exactly that was good so we can go like this one then we go up again and now we can what we are going to do with that we are going to add more obstacles now to our uh level here and now we see oh this is filter again down so uh doesn't go out you can escape your game and then you say you want task manager and now you can cross your game and now you can start it again to see so uh what you saw is that our game look at this background here guys it looks so nice this background is one of the best background so we can try like to go on this side we can move a bit then we go on this side i'm not too good <laughs> in using those keys and then we make a tour on our background here and now what i need to do with that uh, we can try to add more obstacles here so that's how we make our first game the uh, ps5 quality and thank you for watching my video uh hope to see you next time please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any other question you can feel free to ask me thank you guys and bye